let me explain about how the filter and where works on PySpark. Okay, so I am creating a data frame here uh, with the sample data set given by the Databricks, and let me show you how it looks. Display DF. So it is a retail online retail data set which has invoice and so on, stock code and so on. Now if I want to apply the filter, so I am written here filter and where. So both works in the same way, both are synonym to each other. So it is as simple as like we use in SQL, like we say select star from table name where we start writing a where and a condition. Similarly in PySpark, we write data frame dot where and give a condition. So let me show you if I want to see how the syntax exactly works. So for that, as this filter and where both are data frame functions, so you have to give data frame dot filter and execute. So if I execute it, now you can see you are getting filter and you are getting one condition. And the important thing it is saying that function where is an alias to the function filter. So you can use either filter or either where both work same. So you can see you put a data frame dot filter and then you give a condition. That's it. Okay. So if you are talking about condition, now you can ask me like condition is passed in what? So uh, it should pass or it should be a, a column type or it should be a string type. So let me show you if I want to know uh, that if, if my invoice code is only for this 536365. So let me copy this invoice code and I want to see the all the details about that invoice code. So data frame dot filter and then I want the invoice is equal to invoice number. This is my invoice number. So I'll write invoice number is equal to. So I cannot write in this way because it should be either a string type or it should be either a column type. Okay, so let me show you both. So if I use a column type, I need to import call function. So for that from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import call. Okay, let me execute this. Yeah. So now I'll be using a call function here. So if I use a call, I need to make this as a double quotes and close this. Okay. So this becomes a column type object now. On that, I'm using an equal to operator to find out the invoice number which is equal to this. Okay, let me execute this. Now you are getting an error here. It is saying that if you are using an assignment operator in Python, we use a double equal to if you remember. So we have to pass a double equal to here rather than a single equal to and execute this. Yeah, Vita has executed but no output. We know that Spark is lazily evaluated. So we need to take an action on top of your transformation. Yeah, beautiful. You can see that you got a results or you can see you got all the details about this invoice number. So this is one way or what you can do. You can just create a new data frame. You can create a new data frame data frame for 65. OK, I'll say data frame for invoice code 65 and let me execute this. It has executed to show you the output of the invoice number which is ending with 65 you need to say display and df65 and execute this now you get a data frame which is having all the records of 65 so this is how filter works so instead of filter you can use where also let me show you data frame dot where and you pass on the same code column type and then you can pass invoice you can give any condition any condition for a simple practice i'm giving you a very simple code here so you can paste it here and let me execute this use dot show to execute so just we are learning how the syntax of this filter and where works in PySpark. you can see the same output no change in that so this is a column type object how you can use so similarly, you can use a string type. So let me show you how you can write a string type. So if I'm not using this call type, I can write a SQL type syntax. It looks like a SQL. You can see here. 
uh, let me close this yeah now i can enclose this all in one string here okay yeah it works you can see here so i have used a string type so your entire logic or the condition whatever you are passing that should be entirely in a string so if you put that in a string then you get a same output so this is a string type or you can see a column type also so this is how the filter and where data frame function works okay or you can write a string of a sql expression on for this filter and where okay